Richard Lescott, Ringo to my friends, age 19 and away for life. They tried to appeal on the grounds of insanity, but I was uncooperative. Pyromania is destroying with fire without motive. Of course, I do love the fire, the delicate flame, but I did agree with their judgment. Everything I did was rational, and if I had to, I'd do it again in an instant. My father was an animal, I'm reluctant to blame him for making me this way because I never really saw my illness as being something deserving of shame. Could I have been protected from the fire? Yes. Do I wish I was? No. The sparks were to earn the attention I was denied, but the fire was for myself. I did not care to live amid the clouds any longer naive to the truth. My mother was living in the middle of her little world while she was submitted to the abuses we both had to endure. I decided I had reached my threshold, so I ran. Roaming the wilderness without purpose, I tried to keep to my usual routine. I tried not to be affected by my surroundings and prove that I could stand alone. But the truth is I felt weak and treacherous. I would left my mother even more defenceless and my life had hardly been improved. My fears were realised, and I did not have to wander for long. Something happened that would unleash my wrath. I felt no sorrow, she had let it happen, but though my mother had been blind, she did not deserve that. His world would end in fire. The hollowness in me is a symptom of an ice-cold childhood that barely existed. Vengeance is not a sin. God himself is an all-consuming fire. God brought fire and chariots like whirlwinds to render his anger with his fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. I am content. This place is no endless torture. 